Hello and welcome back. Isn't this just the most amazing sweater? I just have, I like look like I'm cheering. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good screenshot. Maybe I should put that on the thumbnail. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Dana, if you could not tell from the name of my YouTube channel. And here we review sunscreens, we review skincare. I like to review makeup. I know people don't come here for it, but um, if you want, I can do more of it because I have a lot in front of me. Oh God. <laughs> but today we are back to our roots. We are reviewing a sunscreen. This is the Supergoop Daily Dose Hydra Ceramide Boost Plus SPF. I'm gonna jump right in because I know you wanna see what it looks like, what my thoughts are, all that jazz. So let's do it right now. The only thing that's gonna prove difficult is this has very, I don't know if you can see, very long um, like bell sleeves, which are great and fun, but not always the best for applying makeup and sunscreen. <laughs> so anyway, I just got this in the other day. I've had a chance to use it quite a few times and I have some thoughts on it. <laughs> so this retails for $46 for one fluid ounce. That is a lot of money. Um, if you are looking for a cheap sunscreen, I would just probably say not Supergroup. Um, I have lots of reviews on Supergroup, so I will list them below, but there's a, I would say like a constant theme where I just, I don't always love Supergroup. And I really, really, really want to because I think they have like very innovative formulas and innovative products where you just don't see anything like this on the market, but, they kind of fall flat in terms of how they perform. And to me, that's all that matters at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what it says on the bottle. If I don't like it, if it doesn't work for my face, whatever, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna apply it. It's a very short application. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And then we can talk through the claims, my thoughts, all that. As you can see, it comes in a plastic dropper bottle, which is very adorable, very cute. Um, I don't like the size. One fluid ounce for a sunscreen is it's not that it's not a lot. I know a lot of other brands out there do that, but in this like formula, it just seems like I'm gonna go through it very quickly. Now, the other thing about it, it is a clear oil. This is not like a serum, it's not a cream, it's an oil. And I have seen lots of conflicting kind of, I guess, directions on how to use it. And that was the biggest kind of question mark for me. Because if you go to the website and Sephora, it says three to four drops, which I was like, dear God, like three to four drops. No way, I can't even cover my face in three to four drops. And then I, ins I Instagrammed them. No, I messaged them on Instagram and they were kind enough to reply. And first they said, just apply generously. And I was like, no, no, no. I like, tell me how much, because anytime there's something like this, I'll, brands these days will say like, do two finger lengths worth or um, ultraviolet. If they have a dropper one, they say do three droppers worth. So I, I, I pressed them a little bit more and I'm glad I did because the person at the other end said, okay, apply six to eight drops, but it depends on what other sunscreens you layer it with and we recommend to layer it with the unseen sunscreen from them. So that gave me a little bit more to go off of. The very first time I applied it, I know I just said I'm gonna apply it, but now I'm talking, we'll get there. I'll put a timestamp if you just wanna see the application. But the first time I applied it, I did three full droppers and I was like, that might've been too much, but like I err on the side of too much when it comes to sunscreen, because like, what's the point if you under apply? But anyway, okay, now I really am going to apply. So let's try it with the very first, whoa, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Let's try it with the very first one where they say three to four drops. Ready? One, two, three, and let's do four. I think I got four and a half. I mean, obviously it's look, it's clear, it's invisible, you can't see, but that is nothing, nothing. I mean, this is like what you do when you apply a facial oil. If you are like going out for the day, me personally, even when I apply a facial oil, I use more than, sorry, I just covered my mouth when I spoke. I use more than this because I like to lather it on. Like I'm here for the moisture, I'm here for the hydration, not just like, nothing so i can already tell i kind of can't get to all parts of my face and i don't think i have like a massive face but um three to four drops is not enough 
I, I just don't think it's enough. So let's try six to eight drops. So we're gonna do four or more. Maybe they're like talking about really big drops. I don't know, but it's really hard to see. I mean, you really can't see, but there's just a little like, I guess dime size amount. Um, and now I'm gonna try to get the places that I missed. I have to go out today. I am going to get my nails done because they are looking a hot mess. And they also, there's like a, a snag on one that I literally get caught on everything. Um, and then I have to run errands. So I am being very cautious around the eye area because the other, every single time I have worn it so far, I have gotten terrible eye stain, crying, like, uh, it was bad. I had full makeup on. I had to dab it so that not all of the makeup came off. Um, this is not eye safe, I don't think. And usually my eyes aren't super sensitive. Oh no, did I get it in? Ah. So this is a beautiful, beautiful glow. I think this is absolutely spectacular looking. I will insert some pictures here of what it looks like under makeup and like applied a lot he more heavily. <laughs> um, but I think this is something that is going to be a staple in your routine in terms of skincare. This is a great starter skincare piece. So let's get into the rest of it. I got, I jumped ahead. I know, I know, I know, but let's get into kind of, kind of the details. Of it. So it is SPF 40 and the amount of active ingredients are as follows. We have 2% avobenzone, 9% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 10% octocrylene. Very good numbers, actually. Sometimes Supergoop kind of like doesn't put enough in, in my opinion, um, to get the SPF rating. But this, oh God, is it, is it in my eye? No. Uh, this one is not bad at all. Now, in terms of a scent, there's a scent and I can't put my finger on it. The closest scent that I could find is that it actually smells like a mineral sunscreen. So I don't mind it at all. It's not like an added fragrance of citrus or lavender or whatever, but it does have a scent. And if you are very sensitive to scents, this is not the one for you. If you want an invisible sunscreen by Supergoop that doesn't have a scent, I would go with the unseen sunscreen, but this one does. Obviously there's no cast, it's invisible. This is one very, very big plus. It'll work for all skin tones. It's not hard to blend in. It's just, that's great, wonderful. Okay, so this is the part that was really interesting to me when I started doing a little digging. Ingredients. We see it's an oil, so I figured, okay, there's gonna be some oils in there. I know squalene is very popular right now for good reasons. It is a very light oil, but it also does a lot for your skin, including helping the moisture barrier, um, hydration. It's just a really great oil. And so I was pleased to see that, but they have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of oils in here. Let me go through them. Rosehip seed oil, and all the, by the way, these are all great oils. I love oils. My face loves oils as well. If you don't like oils, obviously you're gonna steer clear of this, but in terms of what they put in it, I love every single one of them. So this is not a knock on them. It's more so a knock on how many oils are in it. <laughs> but it has, and let me read you all of them. Rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, squalane, squalane, oat kernel oil, that's five, castor seed oil and sunflower seed wax, which is actually gonna be heavier than an oil. So that's seven. Then you also have phytosterols and one ceramide, ceramide NP. I was hoping to see more ceramides, but you know, I'll take what I can get. So we have seven oils, which is a lot. And if you look at them and if you know oils at all, they're not dry oils. I would consider all of those or most of those, except for maybe squalane, all of them are more like medium and not dry oils, which means that they are going to take a lot longer to absorb into your skin. And that's not a bad thing. That can actually help with all day moisturization, which I have found to be the case for this sunscreen. But if you have kind of more oily skin or if you just need it to absorb, which I mean, I think we all do, then this is going to be something that might be a little problematic. At this point, after applying and jibber jabbering for a few minutes, I can feel it like around my T-zone, it has sunken in. Is that the word you use, sunken? But around the edges of my face, I don't know why, but I feel like stuff doesn't 
absorb as quickly there. And then like my chin feels a little greasy. So it's taking a while to absorb. And I only put, I would say, it kind of equaled out to be one dropper's worth. But that gets me into my next point. So one of the things that Supergroup is kind of known for, and they recommend if you go to their website, if you go to Sephora, if you talk to them, they say to layer it. And while I don't have a problem with layering sunscreens, I have a problem with the fact that it's not an all-in-one thing. So you're spending $46, but you gotta spend a few more dollars or a lot more dollars to get the proper protection. And that is one thing that I just, I can't get behind. I think it's a cash grab. I don't think it's well thought out. And I think it is misleading to customers and consumers, especially customers who don't necessarily know exactly what they need. And sunscreen and skincare can be very confusing. The fact that they just kind of don't have the clearest instructions about how much you need, to me, I think is a disservice to their customers and makes people kind of feel like, I don't know, a little iffy about the brand. So if you do follow their instructions and you get this, and they, I think they also say to layer it with the unseen, that would be $80 for a sunscreen. So you could get the plum, 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 plum screen. <laughs> Um, you could get any other one that is like $25 or $20 or $10 and you could buy it eight times over. So I don't think that that method is preferable and I think it's a little bit kind of, I don't know, questionable. So that said, how do I think about this? I think this is gonna be a good sunscreen if you have drier skin. If you have combination skin, it could also work. Um, if you are somebody who loves sunscreens, this could also work for you. The way that I would use it as someone who loves sunscreens is this is a great oil, like a great skincare product. I would put it on in the morning, you know, like wash your face, put it on, let it soak in a little bit, go make coffee, do whatever, and then come back and put your normal sunscreen on. That's how you're gonna get the best protection. I understand that that is wildly expensive for a lot of people, but if you do think of it more as like a skincare product with some SPF benefits, I think that's gonna be a safer route than using it just as your sunscreen. Because if you do want the proper protection, you're gonna to have to apply a lot, and then you're gonna have a very, very glowy face. Now, if that's what you want, by all means, go for it. But I think that is kind of the downside of it. And I know I give Supergroup a hard time, but I've tried, I think, every single one of their sunscreens at some point. So it's not for lack of trying, and I've paid for every single one. I've never gotten anything gifted from them. They're probably never going to gift me anything because I don't give the most glowing reviews, but it's just an honest review of, I think, like somebody who really, really loves sunscreen. Now, if you are just wanting, like, you don't care how much protection, it's a great sunscreen then. I just always am a little skeptical when you don't apply enough, but that's just me. And if you're here, if that's the kind of person you are, then you agree with me and that's why I give these reviews. But if you don't, by all means, do your own thing. I'm not telling you how to live your life or how much sunscreen to apply. That's just my own personal preference. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Did I tell you it does sting my eyes? Yes, I think I mentioned that. Um, I think if you are, you still love it, I would say go in almost immediately and powder around your eyes. That just alleviates it from getting into your eyes and it kind of like obviously if it's wet around here, it'll go soak into your eyes a little bit. Soak's not the right word, but you know what I mean. But if you do powder, you can kind of alleviate that and I've had luck with that. So it's not like something I'm gonna just throw away. I can, I can use it, I just have to be very cautious. But that's it. Supergroup, I don't hate you. I'm waiting, I'm praying, come to me, talk to me and I'll give you some ideas. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts and I will see you in the next one. Bye. For me and my baggy sweater. <laughs>